30 hours. Nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stand by. Yeah. It's showtime. Do you not know that Dan's... Dan is not in the six, right? He is not in the six. He's at the breezeway, though. <laughs> She's still on the <laughs> She was right. Yeah, is, can I just copy and paste? Yeah. The White House wants all vaccinated adults to get booster shots, but FDA advisors, FDA advisors say no. However, there are some specific groups being recommended for a third dose. A stunning mistake by the U.S. military and initially praised by the White House. Now the Pentagon admits a drone strike targeting an ISIS terrorist in Afghanistan instead killed innocent adults and children. And pressure is building on the boyfriend of Gabby Petito to tell police what he knows about, about her disappearance. Today, his sister had a message for the missing woman's family. Here for you at 5 o'clock, Fox 4 News starts now. A panel of medical experts agreed overwhelmingly today that most vaccinated adults do not need a booster dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Hi, good evening, I'm Steve Eager. The FDA advisory committee voted against a broad recommendation for everyone 16 years old and older to receive a third dose. However, the panel does recommend Pfizer boosters for people 65 years old and older, those who have high risk conditions, and those at high risk of being exposed. Fox News' Lynn Ann Wynn has a closer look at the recommendations and what's next. Lynn Ann. Steve, the FDA will take today's committee recommendations and fine-tune the details before issuing a final recommendation on Pfizer booster doses. The time to restore protection with a safe and effective booster dose of BNT 116D2 is now. The VP in charge of Pfizer's vaccine development says the data shows vaccine effectiveness has dropped significantly over time. As you can see, for all age groups, 16 years of age and above, efficacy wanes over time, dropping to 47% for those individuals out more than five months from completion of the two-dose series. But Pfizer says its vaccine remains effective against hospitalization. And for now, younger age groups appear to still be protected, possibly because they got the vaccine later. Israeli health officials also shared their data on booster doses. It's believed Israel is about three months ahead of what other countries are seeing with COVID-19 because they reached a level of immunity earlier. Israeli health officials say booster doses helped them get a handle on their current fourth wave of high infection rates. If we had not started booster doses at the end of July, we would have come to uh, the capacity of Israel uh, hospitalization capabilities and probably have uh, gone beyond it. Data from Israel also showed a tenfold reduction in infection rates among several age groups 40 and above that got a booster dose. But some argued vaccines in current supply could do the most good if they're focused on the unvaccinated. And certainly, we all agree that if we really want to impact this pandemic, we need to, to vaccinate the unvaccinated. Others are concerned it's too early to recommend third doses. Some doctors on the FDA advisory committee say they still need more data to address issues like a possible increased oh, yeah. risk of heart inflammation and vaccine strength against the Delta variant. And others say there is not enough data yet to support the need for booster doses in younger age groups. We're being asked to approve this as a three-dose vaccine for people uh, 16 years of age and, and older without any clear evidence of the third dose for a younger person when compared, compared to an elderly person is of value. And regarding the other available COVID-19 vaccines, Moderna has also submitted data to the FDA for consideration for booster doses there. Federal health officials also expecting a need for Johnson & Johnson booster doses sometime in the future, but have said before that there is not enough data to support that yet. As for the Pfizer booster doses next week, a CDC advisory committee will meet on this independently to make their recommendation. Steve. All right, Lynn and Wynn, thank you. The huge surge of illegal border crossers in Del Rio, Texas is getting worse, now estimated to be at least 13,000 people and growing by the hour. 
Most of these people are Haitians. Many left the island after the 2010 earthquake and drifted through South America for years, more recently moving to Mexico border towns. They are camping in squalor beneath Del Rio's International Bridge and moving back and forth easily across the Rio Grande. The numbers have nearly tripled in the past 48 hours. Border patrol is overwhelmed. Del Rio's mayor declared a local, declared a local emergency and shut down the toll bridge over the river. The Biden administration has not addressed some very basic questions about this crisis. How will these people be processed and where they will be sent if they are not allowed to stay? Governor Abbott just approved billions of dollars in state funding for border security. We'll have more on that element of this story on the news at 530. The Pentagon announced an August drone strike that the White House previously called successful, killed innocent civilians in Kabul and was, quote, instead a tragic mistake. Marine General Frank McKenzie.